This is Kid Jasper Vineral, student number 373056. Today, I'm going to present to you uh, the game that I made. Uh, first, let's start with the 2D game. This 2D game is an RPG based game, and the controls are very simple A for left, D for right, W for going up, and S for going down. Now, if, as, you, as you can see here, uh, there's an NPC right below the house. So in order to interact with it, you have to go closer and press space. Now your main goal here is to leave this dream through the maze, collect all keys so you can exit. And by all keys, it means three key fragments that are hidden inside the maze. Now once you enter the maze, there will be two enemies that are trying to chase you and they will kill, kill your player. Now if they are catching up, press shift to sprint. Now we have to remember here that if the enemies are catching up, you press shift in order to uh, outrun them. And if you, as you can see here, there's a key fragment right here, so we have to get it. There are three key fragments that are uh, located inside the maze. So, as you can see right there, we have an enemy that are that is chasing me already. Uh, the script that I use for this enemy that is uh, chasing me is called Pathfinder or Pathfinder, created by A Star. I downloaded it in the internet uh, it's free so uh, that really helped me uh, make this game so there's no other key so let's get it okay now we have an enemy here you have to move fast you need three key fragments in order to leave the maze. If you don't have all three, uh, you will not be able to exit the game. Okay, there's a third key. Now let's find our way uh, outside. Uh, let's shake this enemies off. Okay, I'll just uh, play things fast in the video. Okay, here's the here's the um, exit. So let's go now. As you can see, there will be a pop up saying, "Congratulations, you have finished the maze." Now, what actually happens when uh, the enemy catches you? So uh, this will happen. right there and there will be a restart button so if you start the uh, game will uh, start over so uh, that's all let's head to the second game which is the 3d game so this is my 3d game i built this game using the assets from the asset store now the controls are also very simple the view for walking forward S for walking backwards A for walking left and D for walking right and for looking around you will have to use your mouse so if you look closely here if you look at the terrain I uh, used an asset in the asset store called terrain tool in order to create these uh, pathways, these grasses, this mountain at the background, and these trees. 
So if you look up, you will see a realistic sky. Uh, I also use the an asset from the asset store called uh, Classic Sky Box in order to change this the sky into a more more realistic one. Now, if you uh, look at the houses also here, you will notice that uh, they are old houses, uh, more like houses from the medieval times. And that's because I also used an asset from the asset store called um, Medieval Bees. So with that, I was able to plan uh, these houses here. And, you know, let's look around. Now, if you uh, also look closely, there will be um, an NPC right here. So in order to interact with it, you just need to be, uh, you need, you just need to move closer in front because if you walk on the right side of left side of it, you will not uh, interact with it. So let's move forward. Now if you move forward, uh, move in front of it, it will show you a pop-up message. There we go. And uh, it will actually tell you a funny story. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching.